Good season's greetings, everyone. Well, I'm here in my kitchen again. Yes, it's John. And, uh, well, you know, I'm still harvesting. And uh, I hate to say it, but it's coming to an end almost. Only a few more things left to do. But I want to show you a couple things because um, I'm double doing double duty. And, uh, yeah, double duty. You can do it on certain things. You can make something and then do something else. So today I'm doing uh, double duty. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my butternut squash right there can you see it all that butternut squash so that's only two butternut squashes all cut up seeds taken out if you want the seed you can clean them up and then put them in the oven and roast them some people do that but what i'm doing today i'm just prepping the uh, butternut squash and we're gonna um, um, freeze it, vacuum pack it and freeze it in the freezer. Like I've done with other things, blueberries, peaches, string beans, corn, so many things. So anyways, this butternut squash, as you can see, I cut it all up, prepped it, and I washed it. So see this bowl right here? This is one of my uh, kitchen bowls. Um, you might see it in some professional kitchens because, you know, I have to have professional kitchen stuff to do all this craziness. So anyways, I prepped it and then I put it into this bowl and I washed all of the butternut squash really, really well. And then I took my strainer and I put it in the sink and I put all of the butternut squash in the strainer and I let the water drain out. But I then used my sprayer and cleaned once again the butternut squash because you want to get rid of all the debris and, you know, it gets dirty. So you want to get all that dirty water off your butternut squash. So it's already, it's drying. As you can see, it's on paper towel and it's drying. And I will get more paper towel and I will damp the top, uh, put the paper towel on the top and uh, pat it down and get it dry on top too. You want to get it as dry as possible before you put it in the, uh, the you know, whatever it is. The um, vacuum packing. That's it. Okay, the next one. So this um, is my slow cooker. And if you can look in, I'm boiling, I'm cooking down apples with the peels on them. So I used this and I did up all my apples. And then I put them into, well, I washed them because you always have to wash everything. Get all that dirt off, you know? And then I put it in my slow cooker right here. See, that's my slow cooker. And I did, I'm making apple butter. That's different from applesauce. Some people say, well, you know, it's the same stuff, but it's not. I'm making apple butter. So Todd, let me show you. Todd made some apple sauce because he does his apple sauce every year. See, this is apple sauce. But I'm making apple butter. That's right, apple butter. And it's a little different from apple sauce. And some people, you know, they say, oh, it's the same stuff. Well, it's not. Okay. Um, I'm going overboard with my video, but I want to show you once again, see, it's boiling down. And uh, I do stir it occasionally because it is on high. And um, it slowly 
goes, you know, slowly goes down. And eventually I'll use my immersion blender. I have an immersion blender. See, that's, that's the stem of it right there. See that? Isn't that interesting? And I put it into the pot and I immersion blend every, all of it together. And then for a couple more hours with the lid off, with the lid off, I let it sit for a couple more hours with the lid off and it slowly, you know, comes down and it gets really thick like a paste. And that becomes your apple butter. It's different from applesauce. So yeah, I'm making apple butter, but I make a small batch because, you know, I don't use it all the time and I don't like it to go to waste. So, you know, I give it to friends, I give it to family members and, uh, you know, it's just something fun to do. And you put it on toast or muffins in the toaster and it's really good. So it's something to think about. It's pretty simple. Just um, apples, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, a little salt, and um, I put water in so that it doesn't burn, and then I slowly cook it down so that the water evaporates. And uh, it will get thick, people. Trust me, it does. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I've gone over my limit today. So, um, I will chat again soon. But it's always nice to talk to my, my bear cubs and my earthlings. And um, you know what it's like, people. Keep it going. Happy harvesting. Buy up all those vegetables and do something with them. Prepare for winter. It's going to be a long one. Okay, people, have a nice day and enjoy your week. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everybody.